Hey, what's going on everyone? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around before, welcome back. My name is Dave, and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some gameplay of the Black Ops Cold War Alpha, as well as my thoughts on the game so far. At first glance, I was really happy to see this game retain the same UI as Modern Warfare. It felt very familiar, and getting myself up to speed as to where things were didn't take long at all. Starting off, I just wanted to take a look at some of the weapons this Alpha offers. We get a sample of each weapon class, with the weapons having varying levels of progress that allows us to get a taste for how we'll be kitting them out in the near future. One of the things I'm most excited for is the inclusion of wild cards, specifically Gunfighter, which unlocks three additional attachments per weapon. When this game comes out, I'm going to be busier than ever bringing you guys the best builds for both Multi and Warzone, but I seriously can't wait. The first match I played was just the standard XM4 built-in class. I made a few modifications to the rifle and I can already see barrels being a big point of contention for players. It's also interesting to note that FMJs are not in this game and there are certain barrels that offer more vehicle damage, but there will be no increased penetration or any form of deep impact from what I've been told. I don't want to take up too much time rattling on about attachments, but if you guys have questions feel free to ask below and I'll do my best to address them. Let's go ahead and get a match loaded. I was playing some Kill Confirmed on Miami for my first game. I really like the new infiltrations at the start of each game. They feel much more cinematic than Modern Warfare's, but slightly less immersive. Right away, you can feel the difference in movement with this game. I feel like the initial burst on the sprint out is very noticeable and had me really excited to push the pace knowing that I'm running around with more health than the previous game. This extra health puts a tremendous emphasis on needing to land headshots to win gunfights. You'll see in this footage I was landing quite a few and I think this will directly result in more players using optics and the nice thing about that is from what I can tell, at the moment optics don't appear to have any negative effect on ADS or sprint out times. The XM4 is the rifle I decided to roll with and was most excited to use. It feels incredibly smooth and to be honest, a little reminiscent of the Commando. Most of these weapons from what I've seen tend to handle like those in Black Ops 1 and less like Black Ops 2. The recoil feels smoother in general and you can tell that this is more of an emphasis on moving while shooting or just moving in general. From what I observed, there doesn't appear to be any slide cancelling and sliding seems to carry you a little further than in Modern Warfare, but overall the movement is very fluid. I really like the map design that I've seen so far from what I've experienced and from other content creators. Miami plays extremely well for modes like KC, but I think there's even more potential with this map for game types like Hardpoint or Search and Destroy just from the choppy sight lines up mid to the open lanes on Waterside. As the match progressed, I noticed connection becoming more of a factor, but I think this is likely due to the heavy server load, so I won't hold it against them. I'm beyond excited to make content for this game and continue digging into it. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know below. I'm going to let this game play a role, but also just a heads up, if you're someone watching right now who happens to be new, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you like your COD content straight to the point, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Stay on mission, DJI. We have this. Spy plane standing by. Spy plane in the turn. We have eyes on. Ours. In cada barrio, revolución. 